I was looking at that uh, walking Waikiki video from yesterday about the robots and I started feeling bad. I'm like, I, I don't like telling people that, you know, their family's probably a bunch of robots. Maybe they're not, you know. But at any rate, like, all this stuff I talk about here, unless it's something that is verifiable or I give you the link or I'll put something on the screen for, like, source, even though I'm not a big sauces guy. Um, it, it's just, it's my opinion. It's what I think is happening uh, by putting together the information that I have on hand. And a lot of time that changes. Um, you always have to be able to be malleable enough that if new information comes to you, you have to be able to integrate that into your theories and into, you know, everything, everything uh, about how you approach uh, thinking about this stuff because it's like you don't know what the fuck's going on. This is all kind of new um, as far as the awakening stuff. Uh, the spiritual awakening people have been going on, have, have been going on with people in recent years. The, uh, the magic stuff is all old. Like, that's been done. It's, you know, it's set in stone. Um, so, I, what I mean by I'm figuring out this stuff is the, this newer thing where people have had the spiritual awakening. They realize there's a spiritual war and they start seeing aspects of it. Like, that's what I mean. Like, I'm trying to figure that shit out still. And I don't think that's a process that, that's going to end. So I don't know. Like, you know, sometimes when I'm walking to, especially, I'll, I'll just start saying things very confidently. Because I like to maintain my confidence when I'm walking around in public. You know, uh, I think that's real important uh, to do it. And if you're not confident, fucking fake it. You, you want to carry yourself that way. But anyway... Sometimes I, I just start, you know, talking. I go on with my stuff and, you know, and um, I, I just didn't want to bum people out, you know, like every, everyone around you is a robot. <laughs> That's what I think, you know, based on my experiences. But again, this is an information, but this is just what I think. It's not, it's not fact. And I would never try to like lead anyone in a direction of thinking a certain way, I'm throwing out this stuff from what I think, you know, uh, I'm just, I'm commentating, I'm a spiritual war correspondent, I'm looking at the stuff that's going on, and I'm telling you what I think, um, and that's it, that's it, so, uh, I'm not apologizing, I'm not a pussy, I'm just saying, you know, I'm not sorry for anything. In fact, I'm, I'm doubling down on everything from here on in. But uh, no, the, um, I, I don't, who the fuck knows if I'm right? I don't know. I could be. There, there's things that I feel real strongly about. Like, you have that inner spiritual shit test thing I talk about. Like, um, uh, Matt from Quantum Conscience used to call it, uh, what do you call it? The inner tuning fork. Um, I haven't really heard him in a long time. But anyway, the, uh, you have that thing inside you, and it's frequency-based, in my opinion. Um, you feel it, what you're recognizing is the frequency that it's on, because all these things have a different frequency to them, like radio stations, like you, you're a fucking frequency transmitting to this body, which is like an antenna. We do have receivers in our cells, actually, which is kind of funny. But anyway... Um, yeah, it, it's just, it's just what what I think. But that's our frequency. Um, so, in the same way, like when someone's lying, or you think they're lying, or you just have this this gut feeling, you know, it's all because, even though you don't, you may not know what the frequency is, like uh, in a numerical way or, or what to call it, you recognize it, and that is that spiritual inner thing, you know. So a lot of times, like. It usually has to pass that if, um, if, if, uh, before I give like some kind of uh, passionate kind of uh, fucking take on something, you know, or I'm like really into it. It has to align with that in me. Uh, usually, you know, sometimes something new will come up 
and I'll just start spitballing as I'm talking to you guys, you know, like as I'm walking, I'm just spitballing shit. But I, the whole point of this whole long-winded uh, video is that uh, this is just what I think. I don't know if I'm right. So uh, everyone around you may not be robots. You might be fine. Your whole family may be divine beings. Um, you know, it, and a whole thing is like, I got caught up in thinking about the Sons of Abraham thing, and I'm like, well, some of these people that appear to be Sons of Abraham to me, uh, they seem like robots, what the fuck? And then I'm thinking, well, why, why couldn't there be robots of every kind of race or background or creed or group? Of course, there would be. Um, by now, maybe originally it wasn't like that, but... I don't know. I think I think it always was. It had to had to have always been because, like, you know, they say Adam and Eve were the first, uh, you know, woman and man or whatever. But Cain, like, he was a when he had the split after killing his brother, he was like afraid to go into these other cities because he's like, the, I'll get rolled in these cities. So it's like, who are they? Well, they're not sons of Abraham. Who are these people that he's afraid of? You know. Um, yeah, so it brings up all kinds of weird questions. I'll go more into the Sons of Abraham thing, because that's really interesting. And it's behind why it seems like there's a lot of anti-white stuff going on in the country. Um, it doesn't seem like it there is. You know, whatever, it's fine. I don't care, it doesn't bother me. Uh, it, it, you know, personally I'm saying, I don't, the whole thing is bad, but it's not because they don't like, like white people or they want equality for other people. They, they hate everybody equally. Um, it's more like there are people who claim to be sons of Abraham, but are not. And when the real thing's walking around out there, it makes it kind of awkward. So they want to get rid of the real thing. And that's all it's really about. It isn't like a, a you know, white people bad, black people good. It's not a thing like that at all. They want us to think that, so that we fight each other. But it has nothing to do with that. They, they hate us all. They, they think we're all one thing. Like, we're always trying to divide ourselves into things by race, by sexuality, by, you know, religion. We're always dividing ourselves. They see all of us as one thing, as one group, you know. And they being, you know, this conglomerate of all different evil people from all the regular tropes, you know, probably. The, yeah, there's some of those guys, there's also some of these guys, there's also some of these guys, but it's a small group. And they see us all as one group, expendable, you know, slaves, basically. And they want to make us more expendable, and they want to make us more slaves. And um, they're not going to win, like, they aren't going to, they aren't going to come out on top. We know that, you know, and if you know God, you know that. And you can know God, just, just, he, he, he wants to coach you, you know, he wants to help you out. Just let him, let him, you know, and it's that easy. Uh, yeah, it's that easy. It's, it's not as complicated as some people want to make it seem. Uh, and sometimes I have to wonder about some of those people, like that say they, they follow God, and yet, I just see them making terms and conditions and terms and conditions. You have to do this. You have to do that. If you don't repent here, oh, if you do that. It's like I see a lot of terms and conditions. Satan works in terms and conditions. He's a contract guy. God, there is no contracts. He sees your heart. He knows who you are. He wants to fucking be your life coach. As far as looking to God as some divine power out there, you have God's power. God's power is in you. That's the fucking secret. And that's why they uh, have to do a 24-hour show around you to make you think that you're nothing. You know? That's, that's why they spend all their time focused on you doing that. So God, it, the, we're not, you don't have to look outside for some kind of power. You have the power. What you need God for is to coach you through this thing. He wants to, co he wants to be there. He loves all his children. You know? Um... Let him coach you, you know. I'm sure, he's all right. He's not going to, uh, you know. 
he isn't going to have you do extra jumping jacks or anything. Maybe. I don't know. I, I can't. I don't know. He's never asked me to do it. I'm happy about that, too, because... Fuck jumping jacks. <clears throat> don't blame the teacher. Blame the school.